well, they are not the only association on strike. Um, although their impact is far-reaching, the Mortuary Workers Association has also served notice that they are withdrawing their services and it has taken effect today. They also have concerns with regards to their working conditions and availability of PPEs. How would you propose government to go about this issue such that, because the key concern now is all about finances, something government has served notice they are struggling to provide? Well, the fear of the people is that they see government going about. Um, we are in a campaign season, unfortunately, for them. Mm. And they are busy about campaigning. They mm. see huge sums of money being spent. And so there's nothing to convince them about this, particularly this. Uh, because if they are not seeing them going about and, 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 and campaigning and, and seeking election, there is a different story. Because they, they are seeing them, it has become a very, 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 very challenging for all of us. Uh, Jordan, the general secretary of the Mortuary people, is a very uh, tough skinned person. And once they have decided that, it's very, very difficult. I wish I call him and tell him that I have some people in the fridge we have to collect. You know, but unfortunately, uh, uh, that is the situation we find ourselves. So we, even as a family, we are about postponing. If we can't get the body, then we can't have the funeral. That's what it is. But even the worst one is those who are going to die now. It means they will have to be transferred to a private mock somewhere. And even they belong to some of the private mocks. Now, concerning this business about um, mandatory deductions from working people's pay, under the pension scheme, there's nothing like negotiate, negotiation on payment of these things. The only condition that is open to you, even you should do it without any prompting, is to pay it and pay interest on it. Maybe what should be negotiated will be uh, the interest, whether it is compound interest or simple interest. Generally, it should be compound interest if it's delayed over like this, you know. Uh, because you are hurting the people when they come on retirement. And, and it's suspected that government would have budgeted for these things because it's not just an allowance, it's a mandatory deduction. And it's to be promptly uh, uh, transferred to the fund managers for investment. And therefore, if you cannot pay it within the 14 days or so, after the deduction is, have been effected, then you arrange with the fund managers or the owners of the money who are the workers to pay a compound interest on it and they'll relax. But particularly so, like I said earlier, when we are in a, a transition to move into a brand new government, there is no way workers will be uh, compromising on these issues. No, there's nothing like compromise when it comes to these type of things. Maybe the allowances, they may find some ways and means of agreeing to. But when it comes to retirement matters, it's a different ballgame. You know, so I pray that government, because this one, nobody should expect embedding the Labor Commission. Labor Commission will have no authority to, to say that you have agreed, you have signed an agreement, but you can afford not to pay. They can't say so. It will be foolhardy on their part to invite anybody to say that. Is when an agreement has not been reached, then Labor Commission can invite you people and even facilitate reaching that agreement. But in this case, you have voluntarily signed the agreement without anybody putting gun on your head. It, it is assumed that you've budgeted for it. It's assumed that you have a dedicated funding for it. So why are you not paying? If they cannot afford to pay, this is when they can call the people and they should do it as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, they, they, they are not smart enough. So that, that's what it is.